Hey guys, we're doing some mobility this morning. This is just to help get you loosened up, limbered up. Um, it's nice for a stretch. It also is a great warm up. Okay, so let's come on out. You're gonna need a wall and a mat. Um, and we're gonna start at the wall, okay? So what I want you to do is get real cozied up to that wall. So my heels are against it. I can feel it along the back side of me and you're gonna need some room out in each direction. And the way I want you to start is to try to tuck your hips under a little bit. We're drawing that lower back closer to the wall, okay? Try to get your upper back and head against the wall as well. So this starts getting you into that upright posture. And now think about drawing the back of your shoulders into the wall. And we're just gonna reach down through the arms here Okay, so I'm really trying to just keep as many points of connection as I can. So here's where we're gonna start moving. We're just gonna start bringing the hands up the wall, okay? And if your arms come away from it, that's okay. You may come out a couple inches in order to keep reaching those arms overhead. And you'll notice there are areas that are just tighter than others, okay? We're gonna keep moving through this. When you come into those tight areas, don't be afraid to come out of it a little bit, get past that point, and then resume, okay? I do want you to try. Um, you know, if it's just some tightness that you are able to work through, go ahead. But if you're feeling like you're blocked at any point, um, I want you to work around those points. Don't try to work through them. We're just gonna do this. Let's do this. Two more times, we're gonna take it, again, all the way up and down. Come back to your point of connection, points of connection. And let's get one more right here, all the way up, up, up. Let's hold it this time, okay? Bring your arms into a V shape. And just hold it, really try to draw your elbows, your hands, the back of your shoulders, draw them into that wall. Take a deep breath. All right, let's bring it halfway down. So we're gonna come into that T shape, reaching straight across. Let's hold it here, deep breath in, and out, and now release it down. All right, guys, we're gonna step forward, um, and you're gonna just be, need a little room to rotate on this one. This is a can opener, you're gonna pivot, at your hips, and you're just gonna kind of let your arms, they get to kind of free flow here. So they are spinning through with some momentum. Let's bring them about chest level. And again, I'm rotating through, hinging on my feet. Let's get a couple more in each direction. It's a good way to warm up your, your trunk, your torso and your shoulders, last one. All right, I just want you to roll those shoulders up and set them down and back. All right, so what we're gonna do next is just some shoulder circles, and I want you to use gravity for this. So what I'm gonna have you do, you'll be in a wide stance, and from there, you're gonna hinge forward at the hips. Once you're hinged forward, I want you to let your arm hang. Let's just focus on one at a time. And these are dead arm circles. I want you to find, get, get gravity kind of to help get you moving in these circles. And then as much as you can, I just want you to let that arm hang like dead weight. You'll see I even kind of use my torso to keep that momentum going. And we're gonna just pause and start taking it in the opposite direction. It might feel a little funny at first. And then again, stop forcing it and come to that dead weight, big circles here. Get a couple more and release it. I'm gonna just come to the other side so I can support a little here. Let that other arm hang. And I'm just gonna start taking some circles using my torso to kind of keep it going without needing to engage my shoulder muscles very much at all. Try to just let it move with 
that momentum. Get a couple more. And pause. Start taking it back in the other direction. Okay. It's kind of hard to just let it relax, isn't it? All right. Last one. And come on up. All right, you're gonna need a little bit of room on the floor here. We're gonna do a lunge with a rotation. Now, if this is too much for you, find something like a chair up higher that you'll be able to place your hand there instead of on the floor. So here's where we're headed. We're gonna step forward. This is a long step. I'm bending my front knee, reach down through the other hand. It's right inside my foot. I'm gonna turn to open. And then I'm going to tap my fingers down. I'm going to turn to open. Okay, we're going to do that three more times. Okay, so again, if you're uncomfortable here, elevating that planted hand is a great option. You can come up also onto fingertips or again, set it to a low chair or maybe a yoga block. Okay, last time here and hold it. So I want you to think about really reaching high, spreading your arms wide, and release down. All right, guys, come on up. We're just gonna trade our feet. Let's get that other foot forward. Take the opposite leg back. So we're bending this leg. We're nice and straight in this back leg here. So we're down on the floor or on that supportive prop. Okay, so we're gonna start out. Let's twist to open and then come down. So you're turning towards your front knee. Okay, that's the one you should be facing. Let's take a couple more here. Really start to reach for it. Think about rotating through. Let's get two more. Big reach up and open. Last time here, we're gonna hold this one. Bring it up, hold it. Reach, spread your arms wide, and carefully release it down. All right, guys, so we're gonna come down onto our mat now, okay? And I'm gonna start us off with just a little hip mobility, um, calling this the fire hydrant. Uh, you'll see why, okay? So we're coming onto our hands and our knees. Hands are under my shoulders, my knees are under my hips. And all I'm gonna do um, keeping in about a 90 degree bend in both legs and the knees, I'm just gonna come out and back down. So thus the fire hydrant. Okay, we're gonna do just a couple more. One more time, open out, set it down. And of course we're gonna go to the other side. Okay, so let's get ready again and stabilize. And let's go on the other side. Just think about opening out to the side. Think about turning your inner thigh towards the floor. So your inner thigh at the top of this pose is facing the floor. Okay, we're gonna get just two more and relax down. Okay guys, we are staying on our hands and knees a little while longer. Um, we're gonna do another opening for our upper body. We're threading the needle. And I want you to think about turning your whole torso through. So here's where we're headed. I'm gonna start with a bent elbow. This hand will be on the floor, okay? So again, I'm on my hands and knees. I'm taking my right hand behind my head I'm gonna rotate and turn, tap my wrist. I'm gonna open up and try to draw that elbow back. And I'm gonna to look towards the ceiling. I'm gonna come across and then really try to find as much opening here as I can. Let's do two more. Try to draw that top elbow back. Last time, we're gonna hold it this time. And tilt back, draw that elbow open. Let's reach it up and release down, okay? We're gonna go to the other side. So let's go left hand behind the head this time. So 
So we're starting right here. We're gonna come through, tap the wrist, and then big opening, try to draw that elbow back. And come across, and open, turn through your entire torso. Let's get one more right here. We're gonna hold it this time. Reach along through the top arm. Three, two, one, and relax. Let's come onto hands and knees. We're gonna roll through a little bit of cat and cow here. So think about over-exaggerating those movements around your spine. My knees are under my hips, my hands are right under my shoulders. We're gonna press the belly down, inhale, look forward. And now exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, lift the spine up high. And keep moving with your breath through that. So you'll inhale when you're looking forward, and then you'll exhale, pull the belly up and in, and really let your spine round. I want you to take just a couple more rounds here. Don't rush it. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is a 90-90, okay? So it's gonna be a 90 degree bend in each knee. So we're gonna sit onto the floor, okay? I'm really putting a lot of weight back here. And then I've got one 90 degree bend through this leg, and I've got my other 90 degree bend right there, okay? So 90-90. We're gonna start by sitting tall, and then I want you to come out and over your forward leg. So we're just gonna start walking the hands out. And you might stay up here, okay? If you're feeling good, I just want you to keep going, okay? So you're gonna start to feel that beautiful stretch through the outside of your shoulder. You're also gonna feel this in your glutes on that forward side. We're only staying here for a second and then we're gonna walk it back up, come with me. We're turning the other way. Take your hands across, take a twist, look out over the opposite shoulder. We're gonna flow through one more time. Start walking those hands out. We're gonna find it, reach for it, and start walking back. Take your hands across, twist to look over your opposite shoulder, and relax, okay? So of course, we're gonna do the other side. Let's just do a quick little turn around here. Reverse your legs in the opposite direction, okay? So we're going this way over our front leg, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Start walking your hands out. Really reach, you can lay right over that leg if it feels good. Think about walking that top arm a little bit further forward so you get that nice stretch through your lats and your side waist. And then let's start coming up. So we're gonna turn in the opposite direction, bring your hands around, sit tall and twist. Let's take it through one more time. Let's walk those hands out, lay right down into it, hold it here. Carefully walk it back up, sit tall, place your hands and twist. All right, guys, we are gonna do two more and we're laying down for these. Um, I get really excited about rolling over, so I'm gonna try to do this one for the right way for you guys. Um, so we're starting on our backs, okay? So you're gonna be laying on your back and I'm gonna have you take your arms out nice and wide, okay? And what we're gonna do, I want you to take your right leg reach it over and just set it down, okay? If it doesn't set down, I want you to use this hand and make a shelf and hold your leg right here. Meanwhile, try to get both of your shoulders back on the floor, especially uh, for me right now, that right shoulder is really trying to come off of the floor, so I'm gonna pull it back down and get that nice rotation through my torso. So a good lower back stretch will help to stretch out your glutes, your hips, and if you're reaching that leg, that's gonna get into your IT band a little bit. All right, guys, 
We are gonna take it to the other side. So I'm just gonna to start to come back around and straightening that other leg, the one that I just uh, reached across, and then I'm taking it the other way. So I'm gonna start reaching across. I'll probably take it straight on that side. That feels good. And then just holding it here. So remember again, if that's pulling too much, create a shelf with your hand. And you're just gonna support um, some of that weight of your leg at a height that you feel some stretch at, but it's not an excruciating, you're not shaking, you're not, you know, hoping that we're gonna come out of it very, very soon. Okay, this should feel nice. All right, last one here. Okay guys, so just even out the weight that's on your back. The last thing we're gonna do um, is just some pulsation, nice stretch through our hamstrings, back of our thighs. So I'm gonna have you hold your legs, get those knees right over top of your hips, okay? So I'm not way forward, forward, I'm not way in here. Knees stacked over the hips. I'm gonna draw my lower back into the floor. And now from here, I'm gonna flex my feet so my toes are pointing back towards my shins. And I just wanna start reaching one leg at a time. Okay, take one and then the other. And if you're feeling fine and just great here, I want you to start reaching both legs at the same time. Press into it, keep drawing your toes back towards your shins. Let's get two more, big reach. One last time, big reach and hold it this time. We're gonna hold three, two, and one. Carefully release down. All right, guys. So I hope that I hope that that helps you to get a little warmed up, um, maybe a little loosened up. And I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.